Bear Wallow, Hatfield McCoy. Saturday, September 21st. We're starting on trail 14. Gonna go clockwise. usual initial climb out pretty nice day a little bit warm 86 degrees according to the computer sunny dappled sky some clouds in the air Trails are looking good to me because I'm leading. I'd rather have somebody else be leading, but the crew has had me lead, so I'm leading. And I've lost my momentum. Stop for a second. And then Skip goes by. I thought I was at the very edge of the trail, but uh, Skip managed to get between me and the corner. We're going to skip 79 today. Maybe PJ will take that. So the plan is just to stay on 14 till it gets around towards 20 and keep on going on the green trails. This is a pretty steep little switchback. I'm pretty sure they cut this in after we started coming here. I remember a dead straight climb that was quite steep. This is just moderately steep. This little section was under construction back in May, so they've got it all finished. It's easy, I won't get stuck like I did in May. And we're picking up Trail 20. About 10 of us riding together today. I expect PJ and probably Skip will split off and take some more challenging trails. I plan to take it easy as we warm up. If you go straight, you end up going into Logan, but we're going to go up the hill. It's a fairly long climb. been riding for a few minutes I'm starting to get warmed up and remember what a motorcycle is so I may pick up a little bit of speed here but I don't plan on going real fast oops side by side and dust and another side by side with still more dust That was a little close. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely dusty. I don't think it's rained down here 
you know, that in a while. So that means the remaining ten guys in the in our crew is probably getting a lot of dust. You can see it hanging in the air from the side by sides. I do wish they'd cut us a little bit of a, a view through some of these hillsides because you, you can see down into the valley but there's enough tree growth that you really can't get a good shot of it. I think there's enough trees up here that we can cut some down and still keep the world happy. Uh, there's the famous Trail 50 going back up to the right. I got stuck on that years ago riding with Matt and Height, and of course Matt and Height are behind me today. Uh, this section of the video, the GPS data is missing. Um, I don't know what happened or caused it, but it's not there. So it just draws a straight line, and there's no speedometer value. Uh, I think the altitude might be correct, but since you don't have any speed, it's not clear that we're actually doing much useful. Here is the intersection with 24. This is a blue trail that we took back in May. Um, it's not super hard, but there are a couple of nasty switchbacks. And I want to see if I can sell it, see if anybody wants to go up it. Okay, this is 24. It's a little more challenging than, than the one we're on. It's, it's a blue route. It's got a couple of uh, switchbacks that you have to gas it on. This is 24, it's blue, it's a little more challenging. Jeff did it and I did it, I did it in May. It's got a couple switchbacks. You need to gas it on the switchbacks. So I'm gonna take 15 uh, and I think all the guys in our crew stayed with me. Now, PJ um, and Skip and wheels took 50 up so we'll we'll meet them up when we get around the corner and go up 19 some i think this is 15. i haven't seen any numbers in a bit oh these Blue trails off the side are wicked. I'll take a quick look up at this one, 78. It's basically a creek coming down the uh, down the mountainside. 
I'm pretty sure I won't be able to sell that to anybody. And this, this is clearly 19, but I don't see the usual sign. So, Where's the number? we'll take it anyway, verify it, because I've done this enough times to have a, a good feel for it, even though there's not a sign. This is a long climb. Number 19. Just put it in gear, turn the gas on, go. When we get to the top of this trail, I expect to see Wheels and P PJ and Skip, because they took 50 and they all, all roads lead to the same place. A little bit of color, but most of the, most of the trees are still just green. Aha! They're wheels! Okay! And a bulldozer. Guess they're doing trail maintenance. This is still trail 19. We'll take it over to 12. Coming up to the top of Radio Tower Hill, there's about three different radio towers up here. I assume cell phone and maybe an AM FM station. 19 and 85. Yeah, I'm not going to take 85 today either.
now we've picked up 12. Which is sort of the main drag back to the parking lot trailhead, but we're going to take some other trails while we're up here. That's 70. Right. You know about 70? I yeah, I think you have too. It's a pretty steep, rocky thing that goes down to another set of blue trails. So PJ went down 70. We're going to just continue on 12. And Eric decided he wanted to. Uh, get in front of us so he could pick up a little bit faster pace and have a little less dust so I get to see what uh, riding second looks like. There's Eric. We're going to take this left. We'll pick up twenty six. Um, not heading out immediately to let the group uh, follow me, close up the accordion a little bit. And then it's Eric trying to get the faster speed, less dust. These are shale steps that they've made a lot easier over the years. They taking some bulldozers to them. They were pretty scary the first uh, time I came up here. Eric showing proper trail etiquette, waiting to the folks see him at the intersection. cooled down a little bit up here on the mountain, only 75, and I lost my momentum there, fell into a rut. So we turned up, we're going to pick up 16 again right here off to the left. Yeah. 
Well, not only is the speedo broken in, in the map, but I didn't even center the label correctly. So, for some reason, this is another section where the GPS data is missing, so the overlays are wrong. But we can foreshadow and say that when we get to the end of this trail, the GPS will start working again. Not even sure how to uh, debug that. So technically we're still on 16 going down this little bit of trail. And now we pick up 12. And this goes all the way back to the trailhead. It's all downhill from here. And you can see the speedometer is alive again. A couple of years ago, we were coming down here, and Jeff took off from the right going up that hill. He got up to the top and realized that it was not a nice mellow green trail like we were on. It was something much more difficult. A lot of cool rocks there on the right. So I memorialized Jeff's navigation error. We'll probably harass him about it every time we come up here. You may see that I've got a spare GoPro hooked up on the handlebar there. That's just in case I completely mangle the first one and forget to, to turn the shutter on to record or any of that kind of stuff. It's an old GoPro that I used for years. Some more side by sides. You can see the pavement of the trailhead, so we're all done for the day.